Today, we're in Laguna Beach, diving from Fisherman's Cove to Diver's Cove. Park somewhere on Cliff Drive, find the sign for Fisherman's Cove, walk down the stairs. We're going to enter just to the right of all the rocks that are exposed at low tide. Work your way out towards the larger exposed reef, where you're going to drop down a safe distance from it and head towards it. The basic plan is to keep the structure on your left and the sand on your right. So you're going to head around on this way, around here, all the way around. You're going to see a nice wall in this area. Just keep that sand as my reference point. As you come around to this area, the large structure kind of disappears and it's going to be a bunch of smaller stuff. Further around here, it ends up turning into a nice rock garden where you slowly make your way towards the shore, up the stairs, and back to your car. Off to the right, you can see the sign for Fisherman's Cove. Head down the stairs. Once you get to the sand, head straight toward the water. You'll see these small rocks on the left-hand side. You want to enter on the right-hand side of those. And then out in the distance there, you see that reef sticking up out of the water. You want to drop in near that in the sand and head towards it and then swim alongside it, keeping the structure on your left and the sand on your right. The kelp on the surface indicates there is structure below because kelp grows on rocks, not in sand. This is the route you'll be taking. We dove this at low tide. Does anyone know if those rocks are still visible at high tide? We drop down to the sand, head towards the wall, and turn right once we get to it. I'm up at the top of the wall right now, and you can see my buddy down there in the sand. I stayed up higher just because I like the views up here. I like swimming around in the kelp. I like seeing the sun rays come down. I like the shallower stuff because there's brighter, more colors. I feel like there's just a lot more to see up here. And we came across these two male sheep's head duking it out. And here we have some California Golden Gargonians with a female sheep's head swimming by right there. And here is a gray moon sponge. These guys are filter feeders. There's some cool videos out there taking dyes and depositing it around the sponge and you can see it get sucked in and then stream out. Here we took a brief detour into one of the fingers, just a quick out and back before we continued on our way. Once we made it back out, we had a school of Garibaldi and Blacksmith waiting for us. As we continued on the dive, we decided to head into the kelp and check out this sweet school of Sargo. Check out this abalone shell we saw as we were making our way towards the rock garden. You'll notice that the big wall is gone. It's mostly kelp and other small things at this point. I felt like it got a little bit more difficult to route find at this point because there isn't a definitive edge between the structure and the sand. But it's still possible, and you're so shallow at this point that you can come up and take a peek if you need to. Here you'll start to see more of the boa kelp, although the type and quantity that you're going to see is really going to depend on the season.
Eventually, you'll see the smaller rocks without any kelp on it, which is where we ended our dive, made our way up the stairs, and back to the cars. 